Koshi's Business Builders is proudly brought to you by our partners Dell, KPMG and Amex, who are helping small businesses grow. On Koshi's Business Builders, celebrity chef Manu Fidel on transitioning from TV star to business owner. The entrepreneur is showing us how to build a precinct rather than just a business and how you can use your digital data to improve customer service. G'day and welcome to Koshi's Business Builders where we love talking about all things small business and boy do we have a terrific show in store for you today. Celebrity chef Manu Fidel needs little introduction. As a former co-host of My Kitchen Rules, he's helped turn dozens of home cooks into household names and elevated cooking into an Aussie art form. He's also had more than a few culinary successes of his own, heading up three-hatted restaurants. More recently, he's been put to the test on SAS Australia. But few people know him as a small business owner and entrepreneur. His most recent business venture is La Botanique, a one-of-a-kind multi-purpose venue for creators of film, food and functions. Hi, I'm Manu Feldel. We're here at La Botanique, which is a film still photography studio with two kitchens and also got the By Manu a sauce ranch. Restaurants are hard to make money out of in nowadays. I still love cooking, it's my passion forever. But I also done a lot of TV the last 13, 14 years. And I've had that dream of putting the two together on the one roof, I suppose. The challenges of uh, launching La Botanique was just, it was just tough. It was tough because we started building through the first wave of COVID. So it was a start and stop and start and stop. And it was, it took forever and cost me a lot of money. The time we opened this place, everyone walked in with eyes wide open going, wow, this space is absolutely amazing. And we've been open nearly a year, and everyone that comes here has still have the same wow effect. Being an entrepreneur, I had to learn on the go. I didn't do the studies. I didn't go to school for long enough to uh, learn business, I suppose. It's a beautiful journey, but it hurts. It hurts mentally, it hurts physically, and it hurts the bank as well, for sure. It's, uh, it's a tough gig, and I think it's just you've got to follow your dreams, follow your passion, and don't give up. Manu, good to have you here. Thanks for having me. Tell us, was food always your passion? Is this what you always wanted to do? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've always loved the stand-up comedy and, and the circus and so on. And I said to my mum, I'd love to join the circus. And uh, my mum went, what am I going to do with you? My dad was running a restaurant. And I've always loved food. Yeah. So when I started working with my dad, it was just like the epiphany going, oh, that's what I want to do. And you've always been a performer. Now we know where you got it from, <laughs> from wanting to get in the circus. We know you from My Kitchen Rules, Ready Steady Cook. Now you become an entrepreneur. Why? I think it's just happened naturally, I suppose, in a way. But um, entering the TV world was uh, quite lucky, I suppose. But very early on, I kind of realised how fickle TV can be. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I just thought, I'm lucky to have this gig, but I, I, I can feel that it could stop at, at, at any time. Why didn't you go straight back into a normal restaurant? Owning a restaurant versus having La Botanique is La Botanique runs by itself in some ways. I'm renting the space. Now, if you want a caterer, it's on top. If you want chairs and tables, it's on top. If you want a musician, it's on top. So the model is good because I don't have overheads, I suppose. The customer pays for the cleaning, the customer pays for the electricity and gas in some ways. Have you had to build the social media strategy as well? Yes, every Thursday lunch, I do a live cooking class using my sauce. And I've been doing this for three months now. And it's, it's doing very well. So you, you suddenly have a live audience every week and that's what I'm concentrating on. And it's good to see you. Thank you, Bay. 
Thanks, Manu, for being so forthcoming on both your successes and also your failures. And if you'd like to see more of Manu and his story, you can watch the full interview online. Just head to koshisbusinessbuilders.com.au. Stay with us. After the break, we learn about a new food and entertainment precinct coming to Western Sydney.